Hello, this is Malcolm and this is Aidan from Arab Strap. I don't like the words that the birds are singing. I hate their ugly voices and the messages they're bringing. But if everyone can start again and everyone can win. That's also true, they are called that in, in Amsterdam, but um, so that's not why it's called that. It's also a web company that ships teapots. <laughs> Everyone 
make a record here and can complete control. I mean, if I don't want people to hear something, I won't put it on a record. Man. You know, it's not. It's, I'm not a slave to the music. It's not like Malcolm starts playing the guitar and suddenly I have to confess. You know, it's it's a very you know there's a very creative process that goes on. And it only illustrates a, a tiny part of my personal life. I don't think it's not. I've always found it more frustrating that people actually. A lot of people think it's actually made up for the sake of making up something, and that's like, like it's not, nothing, not, nothing's fictitious about what has been said in the record, so. But there's so many people that do make stuff up, and write songs, it's just like people just assume that Aiden's making up his own music. I mean, I get that a lot of people just don't expect me to be cheerful. But I don't think you can write this, the sort of stuff I write without being cheerful, you know. People do make up their mind about you, but if that's the only side that they know, that I mean, it's, it's just as much as my fault as anything else. If I only give them a certain thing to, to listen to, yeah. so uh, you know. But at the same time, I find it quite entertaining. It's, people take stuff and run with it. Ah, it, it's it's nice to think that I don't know. I just it, if anything, it just shows you the power of music, and I suppose it must mean we're doing our job well if people are, are taken in by it and put that much thought into it. Just have to 
be sure you're doing the right thing. But it's easy to forget when she's sitting there in the pub with her new friends and her new hair. And it's been five years, but you know right away as soon as you see her. There's so many bands always travelling around Europe that people come out and treat you because they have a different appreciation of music, I think. And everyone treats the bands better. And people see it as more like they go and see a band, they're going to see listen to music and see the band, they're not going out to socialise so much. It's more like a music thing rather than a socialised They're not going to talk over you, yeah. which people do here. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think, I, I mean that, it doesn't really happen with us, with us anymore because we've been doing it for so long. We have people, people who come to see us trying to be the people who want to be there, who want to listen there anyway. But when we first toured America it was quite hard work because there is that. American audiences do tend to want you to, they want you to entertain them in some way and it's not just about, you know, it's weird in Europe, they just come in and then be completely silent all the way through it and you, know, you won't hear anything and, and that'll be it and, and that happens a lot in you know, European audiences but, you know, there seems to be much more interaction and I kind of like that as well sometimes, I quite like the, I quite like the audience talk to us and stuff sometimes. As long as it's, you know, you always get one idiot saying something really stupid. <laughs> There's always one, you know, but I mean, and that's not just in America, that's everywhere, but you know, I quite like having a bit of interaction with the audience. But do you have to, recal do you have to really recalibrate your sets then between Europe and America? They have to be very different here? Or no. can, you, can you do similar things? It's virtually the same. I mean, we've maybe moved a thing here and there, and then we. We did drop one song. We, we were in a Europe. We were starting with a much quieter song, and it worked because when you walk on, you know everybody was silent. But again, like there's more, a, there's more of a show to do in, in America. So we just dropped it. We starting with the quiet ones, so we, we start with much louder ones, and it seems to have worked very well. And I think it gets people's attention quicker. But you know, as long as you, I mean, I was perfectly aware of that before we came. You, you know, the difference in audiences is always there. I mean, like. I'm sure it changes when you, well maybe it doesn't, I was going to say like Australia and Japan are different but they're just kind of like the same. <laughs>
life after death. And I was like 14 when I started playing guitar. So it's kind of responsible for quite a lot. I did you still on on the NXS album Listen Like Thieves, there's a song called This Time and I used to pretend I was serenading a girl uh, while, while singing this song to her. So maybe that was the first time I actually wanted to sing to girls. And I used to put my mum's scarves around my head and like uh, dance like Astro Rose to Guns N' Roses. But I was playing guitar at the same time. What did you use for the guitar? I had one of those muscle bends. <laughs> Okay. The skies won't fall. I 